your historic decisions to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital, to recognize Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights, to uh, reaffirm Israel's legal claims in Judea and Samaria, to stand up to Iran, to pull out of that dangerous Iran deal, to confront, confront is not the word, to eliminate Qasem Soleimani, to support and encourage unbelievable cooperation between Israel and the United States in the military and strategic and intelligence fields. All this bear testament to the friendship and depth of your leadership and commitment to Israel. From our very first meeting here in the White House three years ago, you repeatedly made clear your commitment to help Israel achieve peace with the Palestinians and peace with the rest of the Arab world. Mr. President, I share that commitment, and I look forward to working with you to achieve a peace that will protect Israel's security, provide the Palestinians with dignity and their own national life, and improve Israel's relations with the Arab world. Your peace plan advances all these goals. First, it addresses the root cause of the conflict the ins and it, by insisting that the Palestinians will finally have to recognize Israel as the Jewish state. <laughs> Second, it stipulates that Israel will retain security control in the entire area west of the Jordan River, thereby giving Israel a permanent eastern border, a permanent eastern border to defend ourselves across our longest border. This is something we've longed to have. We now have such a recognized boundary. Third, your plan calls for Hamas to be disarmed and for Gaza to be demilitarized. Fourth, it makes clear that the Palestinian refugee problem must be solved outside the state of Israel. Fifth, it calls for our ancient capital, Jerusalem, to remain united under Israel's sovereignty. It, of course, ensures that religious sites remain accessible to all faiths, and it maintains the status quo on the Temple Mount. Sixth, your plan does not uproot anyone from their homes, Israelis and Palestinians alike. Instead, it proposes innovative solutions whereby Israelis will be connected to Israel and whereby Palestinians will also be connected to one another. This is, that helps if you have these real estate people, you know. They, they can come up with, they can come up with things normal human beings don't think about. And they have. Mr. President, Israel wants the Palestinians to have a better life. We want them to have a future of national dignity, prosperity, and hope. Your peace plan offers the Palestinians such a future. Your peace plan offers the Palestinians a pathway to a future state. I know that uh, it may take them a very long time to reach the end of that path. It may even take them a very long time to get to the beginning of that path. But if the Palestinians are genuinely prepared to take that path, if they're genuinely prepared to make peace with the Jewish state, and if they agree to abide by all the conditions you have put forward in your plan, Israel will be there. Israel will be prepared to negotiate peace right away. <laughs> Regardless of the Palestinian decision, Israel will preserve the path of peace in the coming years. For at least four years, Israel will maintain the status quo in areas that your plan does not designate as being part of Israel in the future. At the same time, Israel will apply its laws to the Jordan Valley, to all the Jewish communities in Judea and Samaria, and to other areas that your plan designates as part of Israel, and which the United States has agreed to recognize as part of Israel. Applause 
I like that. This decision will protect Israel's security, ensure Israel's national interests, and leave open the possibility of a political settlement with the Palestinians in the coming years. Mr. President, and I hope the Palestinians embrace your vision of peace. Embrace the plan that you and your team and us worked so hard to achieve. I hope that they seize the opportunity offered by your sweeping economic plan. I've read it. It takes enormous talent to reject $50 billion worth of investment. I know what that does to an economy. I know what it will do to Palestinian lives. I know what it will do to the youth of the region. I hope that the Palestinians embrace this and build with Israel a future of prosperity and peace. I also hope that our other Arab neighbors embrace your vision and forge a path of reconciliation with Israel that can create for all of us a brilliant future. Like you, Mr. President, I understand the magnitude of this moment. With you, Mr. President, I am prepared to seize the moment and change history. I know that there will be opposition. There's always opposition. I know there will be many obstacles along the way, much criticism. But we have an old Jewish saying, if not now, when? And if not us, who? Im lo achshav eimatai, im lo anachnu, as me. Mr. President, your deal of the century is the opportunity of the century. And rest assured, Israel will not miss this opportunity. Mr. President, Donald, Israel is blessed to have your friendship and your powerful leadership. And Israel is blessed to have the friendship of the greatest power on earth, the United States of America. May God bless America. May God bless Israel. And may God bless us all with security, prosperity, and peace. Thank you.